Hey, it's Clay at ClayZero.com. This will be my top 10 stocks as we head into Monday, July 3rd. This will be a technical analysis breakdown. So if you were someone that uses charts within your trading, or maybe you're just interested in learning more about charts and how they can be used as a tool to help make good decisions as a trader, this will be a video for you. First off, a couple of clarifications. Number one, the price you see over there will be changing and the candlestick you see right there will be moving around and changing. That is because the market's still open for a small amount of time. And I like to do these videos when the market is still open because sometimes we can capture some really interesting late day price movement. And then second, I'll be using the 30 minute time frame, meaning each one of these candlesticks here represents 30 minutes worth of time. So stock number one here, BXRX, very, very impressive move here, huge explosion of volume. And now from a pattern perspective, good solid pattern that you gotta think a lot of people are gonna be watching moving forward. So let me get this pattern drawn into play right there. We have our area of resistance up there, which puts the breakout point right up around $1.31, $1.32. And then on the flip side of things, you have a nice little support trot line right there. So let me change that to green to represent more of those. So the support, and then make this maybe just easier to see. We'll keep it one color. So we have our resistance, we have our support. We have the huge explosion right there. For you golfers out there, we'll make a little bit more visual, put a golf hole down there. So this would be a bull pennant pattern. So while nothing is guaranteed, is it plausible? Is it valid to think that if the price can come up here and get a break up through the top part of that pattern, that that break in and of itself could create additional buying pressure? Absolutely. So if you're somebody that likes stocks down below $2, you like bull pennant patterns, definitely keep an eye on it. Next one here, ticker symbol CCL, Carnival, the cruise line there. And you can see the uptrend continues as it's once again made a good solid explosion. So consolidated out here, I'll draw, draw this in here just very crudely and you can see bull pennant pattern. But then today got the breakout up through there, new highs. So things are looking very solid. And once again, essentially has just formed another pattern. Oh, this one's got a very well-defined area that you're gonna wanna watch moving into next week with that key breakout point right up there at uh, the $18.80 mark. So let me actually change that to red, represent more so the resistance up there. So keep an eye on that level and nothing fancy there. You can see that the price several times a day has gone up there and just bumped its head right around that area. So you wanna keep an eye on that as the key breakout point. And then as far as levels of support, if you prefer to, more, uh, prefer to play more so pullbacks, interesting pullback level right there at the 1805 mark. So again, change that to green, represent more of the support side of things. And maybe you disagree, and that's I, I, I don't blame you because um, I'm not going to say this is a, just a, a very obvious pattern, but maybe some sort of bull flag pattern if you wanted to call it that. But like I said, um, I can see if you not look at it that way. But I think everybody would agree that, uh, you know, right up there at the very key level of resistance and then a nice little support level there at 1805 if there is any sort of pullback. But from the big picture of things, as I squeeze things down, you can see that this thing has been trending upwards and continues to trend upwards very nicely. Next one, NKLA, and same idea as what we just looked at there. Good solid pattern here has formed. So we have the top part of it. Key breakup point of resistance right there around the $1.44, $1.45 mark. And then we have our area of support right there. So once again, get that changed to green and then just keep it all the same color here. So resistance, support, nice upwards move right there. And you can see another bull pennant pattern. So same general idea. Got to think a lot of people are probably watching that level. So if the price can come up to that area, get the push up through it, that break in and of itself could definitely create more people to want to buy. And then you get a nice little breakout in and of itself. So keep an eye on it. Next one here, M-A-R-A. -A, and a pretty crazy day when you stop and factor in that opening 30 minutes, which you can see right there. Big move up, came all the way down here, was looking very rough. But the give credit or credit sue did start to work its way back upwards. Um, so great, you know, definitely not as good of a day as it could have been had the price, you know, maintained its gains when it was all the way up here on the chart. Uh, but overall, you know, nice little recovery. And then from the bigger picture point of view, still a very clear overall uptrend. Uh, but the level here that uh, you got to think a lot of people are probably watching now and have probably done is gotten this tread line here or something very similar to that in play. And then you have lines that lots of people are watching. You know, self-fulfilling prophecy, call it whatever you want, it can produce some very dynamic movements. So no guarantees, but is it valid to think that if the price comes up here and pushes up through there, that that break in and of itself could create additional buying pressure? That seems like a valid thought process to me. So keep an eye on that from the resistance side of things. And then as far as supports are concerned, at least in my opinion, very straightforward. Just continue to keep an eye on that purple line right there, 50 period moving average. The price has been down around that level several times. You can see there it did a good job holding strong, held strong, held strong. Um, so there's quite a bit of track record around that area. So in all actuality, kind of just a tight little wedge has formed with the top part of the wedge again, that resistance, and the bottom part, that 50 period moving average. So we'll see how this one plays out next week. 
Next one here, AMC, and not a whole lot to talk about other than just reiterating the levels that I've talked about in past videos. So if you have watched past videos, then you know that I've talked about that pink line up there, that 200 period moving average several times. And once again, that is still gonna be public enemy number one headed into next week. Uh, you know, it wasn't that today was bad or anything like that. Just not a whole lot of updates because the price is still down below that level. And then from the support side of things, I think the very simplistic way, so the KISS method here, keep it simple, stupid, is just to watch both these moving averages. Again, pink line up there being the 200 period moving average, purple line here being the 50 period moving average. And if you wanna envision these as more so trot lines, and I mean, you could definitely do that too. You know, just picture this as a tread line right there, picture that as a tread line right there, and you still have basically this little wedge pattern that has formed. But instead of using the tread lines, like I said, just using those moving averages, I think really simplifies things. So you gotta think that most eyeballs are gonna be watching these areas moving forward, key area of resistance, key area of support, and then it just becomes a question of who's ultimately gonna win out. Are the bulls gonna win out with a break to the upside, or the bears gonna win with a break to the downside? That'll be the big question mark headed into next week. Real quick, we want to take a pr quick break and personally invite you to get signed up for this free live online class that I'm offering here in a couple of weeks. So if you've been enjoying what you've seen and you want to learn more about this tool and how it can and should be used to build consistency and manage risk, then definitely get signed up for the free live training. If you're watching on YouTube, there's a link down in the description box. Or if you're watching at my site, there's an area right there on the web page that you can click to get signed up. So like I said, if you've been enjoying, then definitely get signed up for the free live class. Next one here, SOFI in a very, very brutal move. In fact, you got to think some people are probably going to have a very rough weekend. Uh, you know, you think about day traders or those that were maybe buying and selling right there. Uh, now, assuming that they weren't disciplined, if they were disciplined, then it is what it is. But non disciplined day traders, I'm going to think that there are people buying up there and then to see, you know, what happened from that point where the price just completely flushed. I mean, truly a nasty looking chart from that regard. Now, if the price does turn around and try to work its way back upwards, key areas of resistance going to be right up there at both these moving average which we you now know is the 200 period and the 50 period moving average so keep an eye on that general area right there like i said assuming there is uh and my chart just disappeared there we go it's back i guess that's what happens when you're on sketchy internet but uh that'll be the key level there where if the price does try to you know curl back upwards and make a move it's going to be all about can the price break above those areas right there as resistance in terms of levels of support moving forward key level to watch I'm gonna be down there at this area right around the eight dollar and 15 cent mark which is essentially bottomed out down here during that portion of the chart so keep an eye on that dynamic right there but yeah overall no doubt about it rough day today and we'll see if the price can recover back upwards and get back above those moving averages next one nio and this is a little tricky to talk about from a presentation standpoint because it's all about your perspective going into it what do i mean by that well as i've talked about in a couple of these other ones if you're some sort of day trader flipper scalper whatever you want to call yourself and you bought right there and your plan was to buy and sell within seven minutes. Well, then from that angle, the chart looks really, really bad because as you see here, there was a, a deeper pullback that occurred today. With that being said, if you care about the bigger picture of things, let's look at where the price ultimately, you know, found some support right there around that area at 957. And, you know, let's look at things. And I'm not saying this will occur because there's no guarantees, but let's say that the price as it came down here bounce and then seems to be curling back up. Well, what would you have? And again, emphasis on big picture point of view. Well, you'd have a set of lows there. Set a lows there, set a lows there, set a lows down here. And if you envision each one of those as stair steps, what do you have? Well, from the big picture, you'd still very clearly have stair steps progressing in the upwards direction. Again, I fully understand if you bought right there, you don't care about these stair steps. So that's why I'm trying to distinguish between bigger picture versus more of a day trader standpoint. So yes, today individually, a pretty rough day. But looking at things from the bigger picture point of view, everything is still fine. The trend is still in the upwards direction. Next one, RNLX, and probably should have put this at a different spot uh, because we have this pattern once again, which you've already heard. So we have our area of resistance. Down here, we have our area of support. So again, let me change that to green. And then just because I can't help myself, let's make it all the same color to ideally make it easier to see. So we have our resistance, we have our support. We have the huge explosion right here. We have the golf hole down here and we have ourselves another bull pennant pattern so if you like bull pennants you like stocks down below five dollars i definitely keep an eye on it moving into monday next one here our good friend tsla tesla and you got to think that everybody in their brother's uncle is going to be watching one level headed into next week and that is this area right up here let me change that to red because that is definitely the key level of resistance but this level right here at 264 dollars i mean going back through the history of the chart you can see rejected the price, rejected the price, rejected the price a bunch of times right there. And then a bunch of times today, rejected the price. So for whatever reason, that 264 mark 
has become very annoying, very stubborn, and that'll be the level where, you know, if a lot of people are watching it and wondering the same thing, self-fulfilling prophecy, call whatever you want, it could definitely produce a very big breakout. So no guarantees, but is it plausible to think that the price curls back up there and breaks up through there, that people are going to be buying, well, just because it's finally breaking out, that seems like a very plausible scenario, but again, not guaranteed, but certainly rational. If there is a deeper pullback, then you can see right here, you have your moving averages, uh, you know, basically right on top of each other right now. So that'll be the main level. But in my opinion, I think what most people are probably most curious about, because even this right here, you, know, you still have yourself essentially a little miniature of bull pennant pattern in and of itself, but you got to think all eyes watching that 264 mark, and that'll be the big question mark going into next week. Can 264 be broken? We'll see what happens. Next one, TQQQ, which is an ETF that measures the NASDAQ. So if you believe the NASDAQ market as a whole is going to go up, this one will also go up. And it's just a very popular ETF out there. And once again, good solid day here for the NASDAQ. Therefore, this one had a good solid day. And we have ourselves, yeah, you guessed it, another bull pennant pattern. So one of those situations where some days you just have a bunch of the same pattern show up. But the interesting dynamic here is kind of where this area or where, the, excuse me, where this level showed up in terms of, Uh, you know, the, the problem point, and this is just based on a foundational rule and charting. So looking back here, you can see that this area was a level of support and a classic example in charting is when levels of support are broken, they tend to act as resistance. So this area of support now acting as resistance. So like Tesla, uh, you know, I don't think I'd make an argument that this is probably one of those self-fulfilling prophecy points right there around 41.25. I mean, look at the number of times that today in and of itself, the price could not quite get any more momentum after it got up around 41.25. So 41.25, no doubt about it, gonna be a very important level of resistance in terms of levels of support. The level that stands out, at least in my mind, you could put a nice little tread line in like that. And that level where if you like to play more so pullbacks, pull back down to there, could very well see a bounce from that area. Uh, but overall, like I said, you gotta think like Tesla, everybody's gonna be watching 264 on Tesla. And then on TQQQ here, everybody's gonna be watching 41.25. So we'll see what happens. So that wraps up the top 10 list. Again, if you like what you saw here and you wanna learn more about this tool that can and should definitely be used uh, to build consistency and manage the risk, then get signed up for the free training. Like I said, it'll be a couple weeks, Thursday, July 13th at 7 p.m. Eastern time. So go get signed up for it. As far as these live trade videos, or not live trades, but I do offer live trades. So I'll turn them to a quick plug. If you enjoy the channel, I do offer live trades of me trading live. So check out that playlist. But as far as these top 10 videos are concerned, if you enjoy these, if you'd like for me to continue to make these, please do two things for me. Hit the like button, leave a simple comment down below. Those two things help out the channel. They help out uh, communicate to me that you enjoy this type of video. Because as I said, I, done, I do uh, various types, but if I know that you're continuing uh, to enjoy these, I will continue to put in the time and effort to get this content out to you. So like I said, you can communicate that to me by hitting that like button, leaving a comment down below and definitely go get signed up for that free training. And hopefully I'll see you here in a couple of weeks. Everybody take care. Have a good weekend.